Rockefeller Radio Show Hip Hop Series. Your boy QS interviewing Emilio Rojas. It's good, it's Emilio Rojas. Hello. It's that moment, uh, it's that time. You're considered to be part of this new Brooklyn breed, New York hip hop. So how do you feel about being in that category right now? I mean, that's great. I'm like a global artist though. I'm trying to make that that splash on like the international stage. That's my goal, really. I feel like I make records that you know, can reach people of all different demographics and everywhere, you know, if they, wherever you're from, whatever background, wherever you're going, there's something I say that you can relate to. So that's why I'm, I'm targeting everybody, man. Like, it's good to have, you know, the Mecca and the birthplace behind me, though. You know, like, it's, that's what it is, you know? It's good that you say that because when I was listening to your music, what I saw was kind of like, it's not fully commercial, but you see the potential of it being able to cross over yeah. to a very major audience so what do you think it is that you need to do that kind of is going to propel you to that next level i mean we we put in that those moves in motion right now like i got a tape with dj green lantern dropping right now well not now but soon enough called the natural um we got some big records on it we're going to run radio okay really the thing that separates artists like with crossover potential that make it and artists with that same potential that don't is money so it's all it's all about getting like the whatever hundred K, two hundred K together to run the radio. Alright. So. so or a Maserati. <laughs> whichever <laughs> come first. Initially when you first started, did you find it kinda of difficult to gain an audience because of your appearance and being Latino? Nah, I mean yes and no, but a lot has changed, man. I, I feel like it's it's a disadvantage and an advantage at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like I have the element of surprise if you're like, oh motherfucker can't spit. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool, cool, cool. So people are like, yo, he can't spit. Look at him, like whatever. He look like an R&B cat. I look like Justin Timberlake or something. Mm -hmm. Then I come out and like I'm nicer than like 99% of these cats out. Yeah. And like, yeah, I said it. I said it. Um, <laughs> and it just surprises people. But in the same token, a lot of people won't check you right away mm -hmm. because of that same factor. But I don't really think that's an issue, especially in today's climate. Like music is so diverse in general. You got like. You got like Spanish kids that don't speak Spanish like me, so I ain't out there listening to reggaeton. Yeah, yeah. You got like white kids that, you know, only listen to a certain kind of music. You got black kids that listen to a certain kind of music, Indian, Chinese, Japanese, whatever. Like, it's just, music is just like universal. Like, everything, everything can reach any audience at this point, I feel like. So in your earlier years, you mess with a lot of instruments, you know, play drums and guitars and things like that, right? I played the drums. I never played the guitar. Yeah, they wrote that in your bio. You Did played it? the guitar. I'm actually talking to the guy to write my bio. I'm about to edit right. my bio. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Adam. Well, I can't even talk to you, Adam, because you disappeared, man. It's probably because you messed up my bio. Huh? But, um, okay. but they said you mess with instruments. And how do you think that kind of knowledge has affected the way you do your music? You know what I mean? Um... I try to approach records like as a whole. Mm -hmm. A lot of rappers, like you got cats that came up doing mixtapes or like on some battle, like 500 bar, I'll kill you in this many different ways. Type yeah, of yeah. Verse. And I don't really write that. Like I could, I got punchlines and bars, but I try to make everything cohesive. I'm trying to make songs and records, you know? Like I want to be like, my role models are like Stevie Wonder or like, you know, like Gil Scott Heron, you know? Yeah, yeah. But then you mix that with like a little bit of pun, a little bit of king, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of Cool G rap, Feral March, and that's like, that's the lane I'm trying to drive and I'm trying to make some music, man. Just big music that touches people. Okay. So you came from Rochester to Brooklyn, right? Yeah. How did that transition from there to Brooklyn kind of affect you as an MC? It's different, yo. New York is a whole different ball game. Like since, since I've been in the city, I've had to think about so many things in a different way. In Rochester, I was never wor worried about like image branding or marketing myself. As you know, there's ten cats, and like you stood out because you were nice. Yeah. You know, now there's a lot more. In Rochester has a lot of talent, a lot of ill cats, but New York is a lot of talent. And in order to stand out from that talent, it's not just talent based. You gotta have a good team behind you. You gotta have a good little look. You gotta. It's a little bit. It's a, it's a lot more shallow. Yeah. You know, but it works. It's a dope place to be. It's crazy. Right, so, uh, it's inspirational. 
what they, what, do, what are we expecting in the future? What projects you got coming out? What are you working on right now? I got a record in the can right now. Um, entirely produced by an incredible cat from Australia and Fable. Okay. Beast, he won the Shaw Money XL uh, one-stop producer shop. Um, I got a mixtape dropping with DJ Green Lantern, like probably, I'd say in the next month or two, um, called The Natural. It's a, uh, it's a tape, it's like maybe 12 tracks, I got a bunch of crazy producers on it, like, we're gonna blow the doors off with this one, like, the, the last tape, The Recession Proof, we kinda did it in 10 days, no real promo run up, we're gonna do it for real this time, like, hit radio, it's in it, I feel good about it. That's so, what's up. Yeah. So, last question. Where can everybody find you if they're looking for you? Find me in the streets. Nah. <laughs> uh, nah, you can find me like on the internet, the webs. You can find me, um, I'll be doing shows a lot. You can go to www.myspace.com forward slash Emilio Rojas Music. You can go to my Twitter page, twitter.com forward slash Emilio Rojas. You can go to my Facebook. I don't know if I have the URL secured yet. But you can go to it, just Google it, I guess. I don't know. You can find me on Goodfellow Radio, too. Yeah, basically. Word up. <laughs> Good looking, fam. It's that moment. Uh, it's that time. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. It's that time. That time. It's that time. I hustle and work. That's short. I know what I'm worth. So yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Give and take it when I deserve. Because it's that time. That time. It's that time.